Before we get going with this video, I want to give a bit of a history lesson about books. Back in the day, I was obsessed with uh, the Dragonlance series of books. The Dungeons and Dragons saga, brought to life through the Dragonlance Chronicles, all the tales, all the different characters, all the history of it. Uh, I loved it. So this is my collection of Dragonlance books, which I still have to this day. A little bit uh, dog-eared and tattered, but read thoroughly, and I absolutely loved reading them at the time. So much so, I've actually gone back to reading them again now, and because uh, it's been so long since I first read them, I've kind of forgotten the storylines anyway, especially the intricacies of it. So it's making for an interesting read, going back and reliving those tales and you know examining the characters once again. So I really enjoy the Dragonlance world, the mythical world of advanced Dungeons and Dragons, where there's magicians, dragons, spells, elves, more dragons and stuff going on. It's great. So with that said, imagine my delight that through my retro computing journeys, I discovered this bad boy. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Heroes of the Lance, the computer game. Amazing. Look, it's all about Dragon Lance. You can play the characters and just be in the world of Kryn and just have a great time. Awesome. Now, I have to admit that back in the day when I first owned an Amiga, or and a Spectrum before that, I wasn't even aware that this game existed. Or if I was aware, I didn't pay it much attention. I was probably too engrossed in the books and playing other games on these systems anyway. So I was really happy to find this copy on eBay, uh, which I purchased for the princely sum, I think it cost me about a fiver. Um, and this is the actual, the Spectrum 48K128 plus two cassette version. Uh, the instructions cover all systems. So I not only really wanted the box and the instructions, um, this is why I plumbed for this, this version. And it's in fairly good nick. I had to do some repairs on the, on the box and I used, um, Neil's RMC Retro uh, hints and tips and guides for uh, straightening the box out. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll see the effects of that. I might put some pictures up uh, later on just to show you what state the box was in before I repaired it. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get this box open and check out those instructions. So this is the manual and it's in really good condition. I was really pleased with it. So what do you have to do in the game then? Well, essentially you're playing uh, the heroes of, of the Dragonlance uh, books, really. And this starts off uh, really at the beginning of the saga. Um, as it says down here, is where the action starts. Effectively, you uh, wind up in the temple of Zak Saroth, and you've got to go and collect these uh, ancient discs um, in order to get favour with the gods and uh, do stuff and whatever. So um, essentially you play the characters and um, you've got to fight your way through Zach Saroth to get the discs um, and, and just get on with it really. So it sounds like fun. So uh, have a quick look through the manual. It gives us all the instructions. One thing I do love is manuals that cover all systems. Really useful. Uh, it also means when you're buying stuff on eBay, you don't tend, if you just want the manual, you can usually get the, the lower systems version as it works. It winds up being a little bit cheaper, which is good. Um, Amiga, there we go. And we've got Spectrum here. Yep, so I've got all of that. Uh, playing the game tells you about the movement. Uh, or what the joystick does in various modes where the characters face. And this does look really exciting. Um, what the screens are, how you select your characters, magic user spells, clerical spells. It's really exciting, isn't it? It's all here. And if we go through, then we get a breakdown of the characters. Tannis, the half-elf. And then we got Caraman. And Raceland, the two twins, one warrior, one mage. Raceland being my most favourite character in the entire saga. It was a great storyline for him all the way through the books. I thought it was brilliant, really brilliant. Uh, Sturm, Brightblade, Gold Moon. Although in this drawing here, she looks a bit boss-eyed. I'm sure, uh, sure she isn't in the game. I'm sure that won't be a penalty or anything. Um, Riverwind, Tasselhoff, Burfoot. My least favourite character in the saga and Flint Fireforge, my second least favourite character in the saga. And then you've got a breakdown here of all the, the monsters that you'll face. Look at this, we're fighting men, draconians, 
uh, giant spiders, trolls, hatchling black dragons, spectral minions, Bozak draconians, agar, wraiths. And what have we got here? Kisanth. Uh, general advice. Oh, that's not a monster. That's just general advice for the game. <laughs> I was always thinking, I've yet to face a monster called general advice. I wonder what it would do, what its attacks would be. But anyway, lost and found objects, scrolls, how to use them, swords, other weapons, potions, rings, wands. You can find miscellaneous stuff as well. Brilliant. So all in all, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this. So let's fire it up. And I think what we'll do first, we'll use the older system initially. So we'll fire up the Spectrum, get it running on there. And let's take a look and see what it's like. Let's dive into Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Heroes of the Lance. Right, so here we are in front of the Spectrum, plus two. I've got the Div MMC cartridge here. So let's go in and load Heroes of the Lance. Are we ready for this? Let's do it. Oh, music. Right. Uh, blah, 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 press any key, loading, stop the tape, well, it's all div MMC, so. Okay, so here we got the breakdown of the characters that you're gonna play, so I'm not gonna go through all of these in any detail. So we've got Gold Moon, Sturm, Caraman, Raceland, Tannis, Tasselhoff, Riverwind, Flint. Um, so obviously this came off of... Uh, let me just punch that in there. Right, so we're going to go with uh, Kempson Controls, obviously. That's fine. Um, uh, so we don't have to worry about this because obviously we're loading off of SD card. And here we are. Oh, look at this. Wow, this is a... Oh my God, what the hell? This is a plethora of monochrome. Really? You couldn't even use any colour down here? Surely... I don't understand. So I assume we're playing... I don't know who we're playing. Who we're playing. So let's press break, which gets us into this menu. So we can select character. We can choose magic user spells, clerical staff spells... Uh, use stuff, take it, give, drop, save the game, restore game, exit menu. Right, so let's go and choose a character that might be halfway decent at combat. Oh, look, colour. Ooh. Um, so I think we're going to choose Caraman. So I select him. So he's gone blue now. So if I press it again, because I think we've highlighted gold moon, they should swap. Yes, they have. So now I exit the menu. Right. And let's see what can be done. Right, so we've got our character. Now, what we've got here, we've got north and south are flashing. So that means if I push the joystick towards north, so push it forward, that'll take me north. And now the compass swings round, so north is here. So you're kind of running north. I mean, yeah, the movement's not too bad. Oh, what the hell was that? Something fell out the ceiling. Oh, I've got a guy coming here. So I've got to hold down fire and now try and hit him. Oh, wow, this is just like the most exciting thing ever. Oh, I got him. Now I've done a jump. Okay. I don't understand the solid use of monochrome. And things falling out the sky, I'm not happy with either. Um, so let's... So, so my health has gone down now. So I think what I can do, if I hit break, go down to clerical staff spells, I should be... I've got cure critical wounds. So let's punch that. There we go. I mean, there's a load of other spells in there as well. Cure light wounds, find traps. So even though I'm not holding the staff, so Gold Moon will have the staff, but because she's in the group that for some reason I can't see in the play area. Um, yeah, that's a bit weird. Okay, I sp uh, right. Okay, well, you know, let's um, let's get on with it. So let's see. So I got to the end here, so I can go east here. So let's go east. Let's try to go east, boys and girls. I'm in a different area now. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to change character. And I'll tell you why. Oh, come on. Change character. 
You're gonna let me change character. There we go. Character select. What I want to do is choose Tannis. He's the badly drawn bearded one here. For some reason, everyone's health has gone down. Oh, of course, we hit the falling stuff from the sky. It not only affects the character on the screen, but it affects the characters you can't see. That is rubbish. Rubbish. So let's swap over. So we've got Tannis. Now, Tannis has a bow and arrow. You know, he's moving quite well. Oh, hang on. Uh, so let's I'm trying to fire an arrow in this guy's face, but not happening. Well, that was that was thrilling combat, wasn't it? You notice that down here, the word combat will appear when you're in close proximity for combat. Otherwise, it's ranged combat, if your character can do ranged combat. Oh, there's another thing fallen. So everyone's taken some more damage. Here comes a guy here. Uh, come on, hit him. Oh, are they hitting each other or just farting? Okay, well, you know, this isn't really filling me with that much excitement. Uh, I'm lacking any raw adrenaline. Um, oh, it's a big thing here. So I went north. Um, okay. There seems to be lots of running around. Oh, here was a, here's a, there's a draconian, I think. So let's... Uh, uh, I got him. And now he seems to do a jump. You see, if you run and hold down the, the fire button and that you do a jump, which is exciting. Um, oh, it's another one. Uh, uh, hit him. Don't fart at him. Oh God, I'm gonna. This is not going well. This guy's ripping me a new one. Come on. Let's just run back a bit because that's not working very well, is it, boys and girls? So we'll try to do range combat. So let's see. Oh, that was effective. Um, oh, and I'm dead. And when you die, your character dies, and then it swaps over to the next character. So what I need to do now, try and resurrect him. So if I go to clerical staff spells, I think down here there's a raise dead. Raise dead. Oh, can I not? Oh, really? Do I get to select who I get to raise? Raise dead. Oh, probably because I'm not standing over the body. Okay, stand over the body. Uh, press break again. Uh, let's try. Yay! So Tannis is back. And let's go and heal his wounds. Cure critical wounds. Yay, hey, good. Okay. Well, um, exit. So we've got Tannis is back now. And, uh, you know, I, I'm disappointed in the lack of any colour. Um, and, oh, there's a gem here. So it's this thing here, that's a gem. So if I press break, break. Nope, keyboard not that responsive to this, break. And let's to take, gem, exit menu. And I thought there was a draconian here. Here he is. Oh, this guy's a magic user and this guy's a pain in the... So I'm gonna try to shoot my arrow at him. Uh, no, what are you doing? Get, don't get that close. Oh, uh, he's dead. Um, so Sturm is... This is not looking that great, is it? It does look pretty poor. So, um, yeah, not enjoying this. Not enjoying this. Okay, so let's let's break there. So let's have a look at this on the Amiga this time, shall we? Right, so here we are now in front of the Amiga. Amiga! And let's uh, bring up the same game in here. Heroes of the Lance. This should be good. It should be good on here. I've got high hopes. I've got high hopes for this. We'll have better graphics, better sound, probably a bit more slick gameplay. We'll just turn the sound down a bit as well. Let's just enjoy the music. See, this is, it's sounding better already, isn't it? So we've got the same intro to the characters again. Uh, so, but this time they're in color, not monochrome. I would expect them to be a little bit better.
Well, this is a bit different. So here we are, all prepared to enter. Well, I didn't have much time to prepare, did I? But anyway, uh, high scores. I'm not interested in high scores. So let's... Um, so pretty much the same sort of screen layout. Thankfully, this time it's not in monochrome. But my God, could you maybe have made the colours a little bit flatter? I'm walking, but what's going on? Why is it so slow? Uh, okay, so I'm not enjoying that. So let's do, I think it's space on here to bring up the menu. So now we'll select our hero. So I want Tannis, so we'll pick Tannis. So the mechanics are pretty much the same. We've got our hero select, magic spells, clerical spells. Use, take, give, drop, save, restore, blah, 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 blah. Exit. So now I'm playing Tannis. Who seems to walk as if he's got something stuck in his trousers. What's going on there? Okay, well, let's go north. So screen layouts all the same. Oh, okay, so thanks for the warning. Oh, we've got the same combat. What is that knocking noise? Oh yeah, a bit more sound. Oh, that's a, okay, so combat's a little bit more dramatic. Combat's a little bit more dramatic. There's a little bit more action, but why is he walking? It's like he's literally, it's like maybe he's trying to hold something between his buttocks. Oh, that's not very clever. Um, so this looks like a scroll here. So let's hit space. Uh, take, scroll. Uh, can I use the scroll? I've got a quiver, scroll. Only Raceylin can use this item. So I guess I could give, scroll, and now I get to choose what character I give it to. So I've decided to give it to Raceylin. That's done. Okay, so let's go exit. So let's go. Why is he walking so weirdly? It's just like, ah, ugh, yeah, I can do this. It's like all in the shoulders, isn't it? Oh, we've got a stupid dwarf now. So let's hold down and then I pull, come on. Come on, hit him, hit him. What's he doing? What's going on here? What, this is a adult, this is not an adult channel. What's going on? What's going on? This is a family friendly channel. Why can't you hit him? Don't kick me, you little dwarfy thing. What? I've just died. What's happened there? Oh, this is, this is rubbish. Right, come on, let's do it now. So I can't, so I've got to strike low. And now this guy's trying to rifle through my pockets by the looks of it. What's he looking for? And I can't even hit him with a sword. What is going on? So he's doing me damage. I'm telling you, whoever, whoever wrote this combat system needs to never write anything ever again. Why can't I hit this guy? Do you know what? Let's just... I've now got Draconian coming in here. Right, so let's see what happens here. Why are they all walking so stiffly? Oh, so at least... Okay, so I've struck him. And he vanishes. Yeah, they turn to stone and then turn to dust. Oh, some more stuff landing on me. So how am I supposed to attack this dwarf? I can't even hit him. He seems to be able to get in... And he gets in close to me, then starts rifling through my pockets. Um... This is rubbish. Let's go east. Oh, right, okay, so now, so I'm dead. Now I've changed character to camera. I've got a magic user here who's ripping me a new one. My health is going down. Now Racelin's appeared. This is, what? Can I have some more dead characters, please? Because this is hopeless. How am I supposed to take this guy out? Oh, now I'm down to using Riverwind. I can't even get into this guy to attack him. Let's just run, get out of here, go south. So I've lost basically my entire party due to crap game mechanics. And why does everyone walk like they've got things stuck in their trousers? And what's that knocking noise as people walk? Duh, duh. Is he wearing high heels or something? What's going on? Okay, there you go, die. So I, I think, I don't think I'm doing very well, everybody. I don't think I'm doing very well. So let's, oh, come on. I just want to pick this thing up. So, okay, the combat's a little bit more dramatic, but I've no idea how I'm supposed to derive any enjoyment from this game. I'm not fighting another blinking dwarf. I've got another gem here. So let's take that gem. 
I'm not impressed. This is disappointing, uh, to say the least, really. Look, it really does look like he's... Oh, another blinking magic user. It seems to be able to strike without impunity and just obliterate my character. Don't you dare! So now I've got one character left alive. And he's shooting over my head here. So if I... Can I go into a run? I'm going to run and jump. Oh, that hit me. Oh, yeah, you take that, you bad boy. Come on, then. Throw the axe. And this guy's killed. What is going on here? Do I only get to throw one axe? I get to do a little bit of a jump. Come on. Come on, you useless moaning old dwarf. You can take this guy. Obviously not. Obviously not. Now everyone's dead. The game is rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. And I don't even know what happens now. Oh, look at that. I actually got points. And I failed in my quest for the discs of Mishakal. And do you know why I failed? I didn't fail because of ability. I failed down to poor programming and poor game design. Rubbish. So, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Heroes of the Lance for the Amiga and for the Spectrum. Utterly, utterly pants. Possibly one of the worst games I've ever played, ever. So this will be getting a thumbs down because it sucks so much. So avoid, stick to the books instead. Books are a lot better. Right, thanks for watching this, take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!